Hello, and welcome to Godly Play with Home Moravian Church. I'm Margaret Norris. And today is the last day for the Epiphany story. And as you may remember, last time we talked about the Magi are the wise men who studied the stars and they also studied the scriptures. And back when they lived, the scriptures were in scrolls. And one of the scriptures they had studied says, in the land of Judah will come a ruler of my people Israel, for unto us a child is born. And another scripture, but you Bethlehem, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel. And you remember, there was a special star in the sky that they followed. And they went to talk to King Herod. And they asked King Herod where this king would be. And remember, King Herod was king and didn't want anybody else to be king. So he was very interested and he said to them, please let me know what you find. And when they went, they found Mary and Jesus. And they gave him gifts. And that's what we're going to talk about today. The gifts were gold. And frankincense. And myrrh. So it makes sense to me to give a baby who's king gold because a lot of kings have gold. Frankincense, something used for worship. It is a sweet smelling crystal that when it's heated up can burn and give a sweet odor. And during this time, as well as today, people used it and use it for worship. I think about being in a sanctuary and being able to look around and see the sanctuary, being able to hear the music from the sanctuary, be able to sing songs as part of the worship service. And frankincense is a way to use another sense of ours, the sense of smell to remind us of being close to God. Myrrh is, it's also something that's used that has a smell to it and it can be in crystal form. And when it is heated, it also gives off an odor and it's used for funerals. So, when they went, when the Magi went, they gave a gift that was important to use for death, which can seem odd, but we know that for Jesus, death was something that became very important. So not only did they bring gifts for a king, they brought gifts for this king, this special king. I wonder how it was for Mary to receive these three gifts. I wonder how the Magi knew what to bring.
I wonder what a special gift is that you've received. I wonder what a special gift is that you've given. This story is in the Bible. I'm going to light the candle to remind us that Jesus is with us while we hear it. If you listen carefully, you'll hear the match drop. And this kind of fire is what is used also to heat up frankincense and to heat up myrrh so that they can be smelled. And we're in Matthew 2. Matthew 2, 9 through 13. When they, the Magi, saw the star, they were filled with joy. They entered the house and saw the child with Mary, his mother. Falling to their knees, they honored him. Then they opened their treasure chests and presented him with gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. Let's pray together. God, these magi brought special gifts for Jesus. Help us to be aware of gifts that we can give him. Maybe not of things, but the gift of ourselves. Thank you for being a gift to us. In Jesus' name, amen. And just as Jesus once was in one place and now is in all places, this light, which has been in one place, now will be in all places. Amen.